Morning, everyone. How are you? I'm glad to hear that. I hope everyone is well. So today we're going to um, tell a story about God gives Isaac a wife. And we're, the object is going to be, it's going to be all about the Cinderella story. And you can read together Genesis 24, 67. So has anyone ever heard of the story of Cinderella? So it's a beautiful fairy tale. Poor Cinderella who went to a ball at the royal palace of the prince. Cinderella was the most beautiful woman in that ball. And the prince, when he saw her, it was love at first sight. Oh, that's so beautiful. But then things took a turn for the worse. At midnight, Cinderella's beautiful dress turned back into her dirty old work clothes. And she ran from the ball so the prince would not see her like that. Okay, and when she ran, her slipper fell off. She had those beautiful slippers on. That's the only shoes she had with her. So they fell off and was left behind. The prince searched the entire country to find the one whose foot fit that slipper. So you know what happened? He found Cinderella and the slipper fit. The prince and Cinderella married and lived happily ever after. Okay, that's good. That's the way we want the stories to end, right? Sure. Okay, but today I'm going to tell you another beautiful story like Cinderella. It's the story of Isaac and Rebecca. Okay, now I want you to pronounce those names, Isaac and Rebecca. So you may remember that Isaac was the son of Abraham. So when Isaac had grown up, it was a time um, it was ready for him to get married. So Abraham wanted Isaac to marry someone from their own homeland. He didn't want Isaac to move away, but he did not um, want Isaac to go too far either. So Abraham decided to send one of his servants to find a wife for Isaac and bring her back to him. So everybody say, go find a wife, go find a wife. Well, the servant was happy to help in this matter, but he was not sure how he would know which girl was, a, was right for Isaac. So he took 10 camels and a lot of gifts for the new bride and began his long journey. As he walked, he prayed that God would help him to know when um, he finds a good wife for Isaac. So... Let's start walking around the room, banging your feet and pounding just like you're walking like the servant was. So when the servant reached Abraham's homeland, he saw a well. That gave him a good idea. He saw a well. He prayed that God would send the girl who was good for Isaac to the well. To get, and then the servant would ask her, for a drink. If the girl gave him a drink and then offered to give a drink to the camels because they were really hot and thirsty, he would know that was the right girl for Isaac. So as the servant sat by the well, a girl came to the well. The servant asked her for a drink and she happily gave him a drink. Then she looked around and saw the camel nearby and offered to give water to the camel. Well, it happened exactly how the servant had wanted and what he asked God. So we all can say, hooray, hooray. So the servant gave her um, beautiful jewelry. He asked her um, who her father was and asked if he and the camels could stay the night at her house. She took the servant back to her home where she, um, he met her brother Laban. When they learned that Abraham had sent the servant to find a wife for Isaac and asked the Lord had shown him that Rebecca was that special woman that God had chosen for Isaac, they were so happy. Yes. So they left the camels and gifts with Laban and headed for Isaac's home. So when Rebecca saw Isaac in the distance, she thought, she was so excited. And so when Isaac saw Rebecca, it was love at first sight. And they got married right away. And Isaac loved Rebecca very much. So we're going to say, yay, this is our Cinderella story. So 
Let's pray. Please repeat after me. Dear God, we are so thankful that you provide for our needs. Help us to trust you to give us what we need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That is a wonderful story, and you should read it over and over again. And it's so much like the Cinderella story. And it just shows how when we really need some, something and we pray on it, that God provides for us. But I want you to remember, boys and girls, God will not provide if it's not good for you. So it has to be something that is for your best interest. But we need to pray. And if you pray for something that isn't good for you, God will show you something that is good for you. And I want you to always remember that because our Lord loves us, loves us more than anyone else in the world could love us. And he wants the best for us every day. So thank you. I want you to have a great 4th of July. And I want you also... Um, if you have time, if you're not going to wait to be able to enjoy these resources, they will be on St. Paul's website. And I just hope that you have a very um, safe travels if you're going anywhere. Thank you and have a great day and weekend.